You know what's crazy is that I am not scared of a 2,000 pound cow, but I'm scared so much by roosters. <laughs> and now I have to pick one up. That's a little silly. Yeah. Uh, they'll go right after you. They will grab you and start just pecking. You would have like a puncture wound. I'm scared of them, genuinely. Hey, Roy. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> We got Roy from Holly, Michigan. He was actually abandoned in someone's backyard. I can imagine why he was abandoned, because he's a jerk. <laughs> but we don't discriminate against jerks, so we brought Roy in. I'm scared. You got him. Oh. I told you you could do it. Oh. You should see your face. Someday my goal is that he'll be a therapy rooster. How's that possible? Hi, Roy. You're a good boy, but you need peepers. Roosters are very territorial, and they don't like when people come at them. Peepers will block his vision coming from the front, so he's less likely to attack our feet because he's not going to see us walking up to him. I've got to put these on his beak. You got hold of them? You don't look like you've got them secure. Dan. Uh. You ready? Yeah. I'm so scared of holding a rooster because my face just gets that much closer to their face. This is your first time putting him on, right? Yep. <laughs> you put that in his nose? You gotta put it in his nostrils. We're trying to put peepers on a rooster, Roy, who has some anger management issues. The peepers will block his vision in the front so he won't feel threatened. Buddy. <laughs> it's okay, Roy. It's a slow process. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's Christine's fault, not mine. I think that's it. Yep. Let's set him down and see what happens. What do you say? He said he's coming after you. I'm sorry, dude. Had to happen. Buttercup's a cow on a nearby farm where the owner says that she is too aggressive and dangerous to keep. So I'm here to check her out to see if it would be safe to bring her back to Barn Sanctuary. I've never done this before. I have zero experience on trying to win a cow over, but hopefully she will notice my large heart. Hey, bub. And fall in love deeply. Scared. What are you doing? I want to show you that I'm nice. <laughs> it's like a game of chicken, but with a 900 pound chicken. So, um, Ginger does have infection at the bone. So they did radiographs and looked at the hardware. You can see all around the plate and the screws, there's some dark areas that indicate that there's infection there. I'm crushed. It's very hard to fight an infection when it hits the joint. And it's bringing up some hard times that I went through personally when we had Andy here on the farm. Andy is the one that affected me the most out of all of our rescues. He was involved in a barn fire, 65% burns all over his body. I literally had to put him to bed every single night on a memory foam mattress. You gotta go to sleep so I can go to sleep. The moment Andy got a joint infection, he went downhill and passed away. And the thought of not having him still hurts. And so to uh, have that happen again, I, I really don't want that to happen again with Ginger. Ginger. You're so cute. Yes. And I like your haircut. You got the little. <laughs> <laughs> She's got like her own little faux hawk. I know. <laughs> Our prosthetics guy, Josh, is back at the farm to see Ginger. 
The first leg brace worked so well that he made another one for her other leg. We're really hoping that this will finally get her moving around like a normal lamb. Ginger. There you go. Look at you. You're walking, Ginger. Ginger, look at you. Look. Come on, sweetheart. Come on, Ginger. <laughs> Ginger, come on. You trucking her around? You're a rock star. Yeah. And that's awesome to see her actually standing up while she yeah. eats. Yeah. You're doing so good, girl. Oh, 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 you're okay. I know, I know. I I'm know. still blind. Yeah, yeah. She's doing great. Ginger has come so freaking far. It's amazing. I'm so happy that she can literally get up on her own and walk around. She was so sick and her legs were so malformed. At times, we didn't think she was going to make it. Hey, Kelly. Hey, how are you? You know, a little hectic. Yeah. <laughs> So a lady called me earlier today. She's got this baby goat. Yeah. That has some medical issues. Yeah. And really needs our help. So I agreed to take her goat. Just want to make sure you're cool with it. Um. <laughs> you look mad. Dan told me that a woman was coming with a baby goat who's only a few days old. <laughs> and I wasn't aware that he was planning this rescue. Typically, I'm aware if we're planning a rescue. I know, I, I know that look. Who's the last person who's aware? You are. Thank you. And so, do we know what the problem is? It's a severed uh, tendon in the back left leg. Okay. That's all I know. The woman called me and she was just like, I feel like the longer I wait, then the worse it's gonna get. So she's driving out here to drop her off and then I'm just gonna go straight up to the hospital. Okay. Yeah. And then we're going to search for a different home for her. If that's what you want. Sorry I didn't tell you sooner. She's the last person to find out about this goat, and she doesn't like it at all. But I made the commitment already to rescue this goat, and that's what we're going to do. She's going to fall in love with her, I think. Hopefully. So my plan right now with this goat is to take her up to the hospital to get her leg looked at but we'll get some radiographs done, hopefully, so that they can look at the tendon. Look at the face. Oh, my God. Oh, my. Oh, my God. Can we keep her? Dan has a good intuition about rescues. His heart is always in the right place. Um, he just doesn't think about the pressures of the staff all the time. <laughs> Here, just hold her. Oh, she oh, likes there we go. Yeah, so yes, how that will get help. Kelly solved. Right there. What do you say? Oh my gosh, she's so cute. <laughs> hey, let's name her Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a Kelly. It would. It does. I'm no dummy. If I want to keep this goat, I'm going to name her Kelly Jr. Big Kelly, little Kelly. Aww. If you guys think that you can handle her. Oh, yeah. All right, you won. Yes! <laughs> we did it again. It was hard to say no to rescuing her after I saw her. Um, I think Dan knew that that would happen. I want to meet all the animals. All right, all right, let's do it, let's do it. We're, we're excited. So we're taking two roosters, but I cannot leave this place without seeing the dogs and cats. These cats are the feral barn cats. Look at her, she is adorable. Oh. So this is Dog Pavilion A. I'm gonna let you guys go in. It might be a little bit loud, it's okay. but... <laughs> I'm not going to be able to leave this place. Oh, that's a good dog. There's so many animals, but they're all so well taken care of. Yeah. So cute. That's Winter. She's about seven months. Stop it. <laughs> Winter just stole my heart. Let's head outside. Yeah! Oh my gosh. I feel like this might be a match made in heaven. <laughs> Yeah, done deal. It's a done deal. Yeah. Was she a stray? I think owner she was. surrender. It's a sad story. Oh, what's the story? The owner said because where I live, on unable to have her, they said she is a dangerous dog. It's the breed. So pit bulls are amazing. First off, they're the most lovable dogs on earth. Look at this. This is not a dangerous dog. I do really think Winter picked me. I just knew after seeing the roosters, I wanted to go see a dog, and uh, she's just so happy. It's amazing. Oh! Aww. Yes! Oh! <laughs> Yay, we're going home! Yay. We're going home! So 
we came for one rooster and... We got two roosters that are gonna be at Barn Sanctuary getting rehabbed to be the most friendliest roosters. <laughs> and then third, we got Winter with a Y. Hi, Winter. <laughs> Thank you. I'm safe, guys. <laughs>